Hi there. In this video, we have something special from Huepar, Huepar, not sure how to pronounce that. So sorry for mispronouncing. And in here, that special thing is a 360 degrees laser level. So let's get to it. And we are inside the carrying pouch. We have the manual, which we'll take a look uh, inside of a bit later. This plate, which presumably is a receiver for when you are using uh, uh, this thing at a longer distance, but I could be 100% wrong, so the manual should tell us that. But I'm really cu uh, curious to see the, the laser level itself, that's why I didn't read the manual prior. As you can see, this carrying pouch is not just for uh, shipping. This is uh, intended uh, for you to keep the laser level inside of it. You also have this nice pouch on the side for the batteries. We will be installing these things, super alkalines. Let's Okay. Are these magnets? I'm betting these things are magnets. Do I have something metal in here? Weirdly enough, yes, it, this is a uh, house work in progress. Yep. Ooh, and quite strong metals, uh, magnets. Really strong magnets. So this is nice. This will help a lot uh, when you need to attach it to, to something beefy magnets okay let's continue and in here we have the laser level itself and this thingy which presumably could be a plug from somewhere but i cannot see from where at the moment so i will just keep it at hand not lose it Let's see if I can get inside of this thing with one hand. And yes, I'm not using a tripod to film this uh, again. This is a working progress house. And this is exactly why a laser level is a thing that I really, really do need. I have um, a cheap one that uh, my subscribers probably already saw on my channel, but um, that one has a few limitations that got quite annoying after a while. This thing is above that, <laughs> a lot above that one. As you can see, this is the area through which uh, the laser will shine horizontally and through here vertically. And I'm guessing that um, that cone right there is actually responsible for spreading the laser light at a 360 degrees angle, which is quite cool. So up until now, this is rubber, the black part. So if you drop this, although I recommend you not to drop uh, any precision devices, but in case you drop it uh, or bump into it, the rubber should uh, protect it. This plastic all around, the rest of it. It's quite chunky, quite uh, massive, so I'm expecting it to have a more powerful laser than the one that I already have, because a weak laser uh, was one of the limitations of uh, the one that I have sadly. And the other limitation was that it didn't have a 360 degree beam. So many times I actually wasn't able to use it because the beam was too short. So not the throw distance, just the width of the of the beam I would bump into something and not be able to back up, uh, back up more to make a wider beam. This is 360 degrees so even if I put it right next to the wall, it will still shine 
a beam from one side to the other fully, which is quite nice. Let's put in the battery, although presumably I should read the manual a bit first and get back to you. Browse a little through the manual, will tell you the most important things. Now, let me... <clears throat> Always trying to do stuff with one hand and it's a bit difficult at times. Come on, close, please. Click in there and it clicked. Awesome. It closed. Uh, uh, yeah, this is not a receiver. It's a receiver is actually an electronic device. This is not electronic. It has a magnet and a, a stand. This has a reflective surface on the back of it. So when the laser light is actually at the limit in a really bright environment and you can barely see it, this will help you see it much better with that reflector on the on the back of it. This one. So it's a laser target. I think it's uh, the proper name for it actually. So this thing is pendulum based and the pendulum is locked for shipping. So as you can see, nothing wobbling there. Let's power it on for the first time. Doing this uh, disco <laughs> light dance is telling us that it cannot um, level because we are at more than four degrees like this or like this. So it levels uh, up to four degrees. And you can see that it's on a pendulum. Don't look into the laser. You can see it wobbling in there. But you don't want to be transporting it with uh, without it being locked. So obviously, I don't think you can even turn it off without locking it, just to make sure that you don't transport it like you shouldn't. And as you can see, I will just set it down in whatever direction. And I have laser lines all around this room. Yes, here you cannot see it because it's basically fading off onto this thing and appearing just there in the corner because, uh, yeah, if you put something in front of it, you cannot see it, which is obvious <laughs> anyway. We also obviously have lines all across. That That's the 30, 360 degrees part of it. Anyway, let me just show you. We have the 902 CG model. And yes, green beams travel further and it can be seen further than red beams. So this is a maximum of 45 meters. Our model, this is the wave, wavelength of the laser. Uh, Yes, less than one milliwatt, but don't look uh, into it. With a detector, so a, um, a, um, an electronic detector, which uh, will tell you when you are actually hitting uh, its uh, center spot, you can go to a maximum of 60 meters. And yes, this will work uh, with all beams on for four hours. This is what you need to put in. And yes, they recommend you have uh, batteries with at least 1500 mAh. Rechargeable batteries are ideal or quite strong alkaline batteries like the ones that are inside. It's IP54, uh, sorry. Working temperature and storage temperature. So that's about it for this thing. Now let's see how it works. So at the moment, as you can see, it's leveling. You just wait for it to be fully level. And from this, you can turn on or off its lines. You can switch between them. So if you only have need uh, horizontal, you can have horizontal. If you also need vertical, it also gives you vertical. And if we hold a bit more onto it, we are in pulse mode. So as far as I'm aware, in pulse mode, you use it with the detector itself. I think we can get out of pulse mode. Okay, now it's at full brightness, out of pulse mode. This LED right there will indicate pulse mode when it's on. If you press more than two seconds, you can get it in pulse mode and get it out. And now another way for this to work, you can fully lock the pendulum 
it's still on and as you can see it will go off once every five seconds so again off just to show you that it's not leveling and for this you basically have four 90 degrees angle angles if you need to align something so you just project straight lines onto your wall depending on what you need to do or measure but it's not leveling in this mode and yes obviously if you want to fully turn it off you turn it off once it's locked but to turn it on you can either do this and it's on and then unlock it or uh, let's shut it off come on shut off yes and obviously even in the locked mode you can change from one or two lines come on hold more than two seconds it's off or when you unlock it it will basically power on instantly by itself so let me shut it off and now let's attach it here and as you can see we also have a thread for standard uh, camera tripod if you have one of those around your house this will uh, thread in here which is quite uh, nice let's plug this thing in there also if you have a tripod in your house you can directly screw it into this thing you don't need to absolutely use this unless you want to depending on what you need to do with this thing you can screw it onto the base itself and man this thing uh, feels really nice in the hand honestly you can you can many times uh, realize when a, a tool is well built by simple things by the the feel of rotating this thing yeah I, <laughs> it's nice I, I i need to say that and these three silver things magnets so you have magnets magnets you can put it on metal like this and presumably if you need to you can uh, fully rotate it so it rotates from this this is the center point or you can obviously have it like this and rotate it where you need and this uh, helps you by the fact that you can even put it on a metal that it's not fully straight but then you adjust it once from this thing right here and then uh, obviously I didn't fully tighten it you can also simply rotate it based on this as a, a, a rotating center an axis if you want to say that and this thing has rubber feet so when you put it on metal and it holds with the magnets themselves the rubber feet help it uh, not slide also you can put it onto something like this directly and it will stay uh, in here with the rubber feet it's not going to slide around that's about it for me i think uh, at the moment at least the base is not uh, going to be used i have a, a cheap camera tripod which will be screwed directly into the level itself and let's get to using it and yes what i call a camera tripod thread i think it's quarter inch is that how you read it anyway that's the small one the big one I genuinely have no idea exactly what size it is. Okay, so here you can see the difference between the uh, green laser of the Huapar and the red laser of my uh, previous one, which is this. Uh, the red one, honestly, you can barely see it uh, on that wall. Yes, the green one is wiggling because I have it in my hand but it's much, 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 much more visible. And we are inside, it's just sunny. So that's it. I need to find the center on the wall right here uh, to install this radiator, right here in the middle. So with the red one, I, I could do it. I'm not going to say I couldn't, but barely. And as you can see, the red one ends about there. So that's its limit as opposed to the green one which basically yep goes around this whole room everywhere yeah here uh, 
it's onto this. That's why you cannot see it. If I move it up, you can see it all around. So clearly uh, a better tool. And at the moment I'm only using the horizontal line because I don't need the center anymore. These things are in place. So I will continue installing the radiator. Everything is level and where it should be. So everything will go together. Radiator onto the wall and perfectly level. So next let's do the second one. Having finished uh, one radiator going up uh, in another room to do even a bigger one and while carrying this on my cheap tripod I realized that this thing protecting uh, the laser is actually glass not plastic. You can see tiny tiny bubbles where uh, the glass facets or faces are glued one uh, to the other maybe with some kind of silicone or maybe a different type of glue anyway anyway but it's glass not plastic which is kind of cool second even bigger radiator onto the wall and perfectly level and i want to add uh, the guys that did the installation of the pipes into the walls should uh, contact uh, huepar and or huepar <laughs> and uh, get some levels because they failed miserably on this particular radiator Th that pipe is nowhere near where it should actually be but i will find a way to connect it next job for the green laser level aligning this thing uh, to attach it to the wall i could have just uh, uh, put all my faith in those two uh, Pampers boxes that they are perfectly the same height the washing machine is perfectly uh, level and then this will be perfectly level uh, that would be just guessing but now I'm checking with this everything is perfectly level so yeah no modification required. Now I'm just marking my holes on the wall and when I put this onto the wall, after I drill my holes and attach it permanently, it will be 100% level. And yes, uh, again, this is a work uh, area and I'm using my cheap tripod to align it. Using this once again to make sure we put um, a clothes hanger or a place to hang clothes, whatever you want to call it, uh, with the side vertical. We already checked the door and it is vertical and this is the edge where we want it to be. And it's on the wall. Awesome. Again, using the laser level to level the outputs for the faucet for the shower and as you can see that one is barely touched by the laser and that one is under the laser line so we need to rotate it a bit more and then check the distance between them to make sure that it aligns with uh, the faucet itself but yes we need it to make sure that the faucet is level because otherwise it will just look weird Sadly, sometimes hardware doesn't cooperate, so even having a great uh, laser level uh, cannot help uh, saving the day. Because physics and geometry just don't allow us to also keep the distance perfect and also change the height. Even this, uh, though these things are uh, shaped like this, physics still uh, tells us that whoever put them into the wall should have put them at the same level and same orientation and yeah there's that anyway but we went as close to being level as possible so that's still a thing and you might be thinking why we don't rotate this even more because at the end of the rotation uh, you only start to change the height not so much the distance well then the holes would not be covered anymore properly because whoever made them made them too big. Installing some uh, tall uh, hangers, racks, 
supports, whatever you want to call them. And I was lazy and I didn't get this. And I decided to measure from the ceiling down. And obviously one of them is too high up. So this was at an angle. Went, got this, drilling again. So let's have fun. Don't be lazy and always use the laser level. Now we're talking and continue with the second one now that we can get a perfect level finally finally job finished and the washing machine just started because why not i'm recording so it has to start using this thing once again to install a painting in theory what I've read online, you kind of need to have between the middle of the painting and the floor about 150, 160 centimeters. And from that, I measured from the middle to the top uh, hanging part about 35 centimeters for this particular painting. So from that point, which is in the middle of this wall, I am going 35 centimeters up, marking it, drilling it, and then hopefully installing the painting and uh, checking to make sure I put it level. And the painting is on the wall. <laughs> that In that direction I'm not keeping uh, this thing anymore in the proper position. I'm just checking to make sure it's fully level now that it's installed on the wall. And about the painting I'm not into art. So even the cheapest painting made by a total amateur if I like what I see and it makes me think of something nice, I get it, so don't tell me about the painting that it's cheap or something, I don't care. And for this thing, Huepar, Hupar, I highly uh, recommend you get one of these. Uh, depends on what you need it for, but uh, at home maybe even cheaper models, but if you are a professional, this thing honestly is totally awesome and it's quite powerful. So that's about it. Thank you Huapar for sending this unit. It has really helped me in uh, in setting up stuff uh, in the house which is still work in progress. And uh, yeah, as always, see you in the next one. Bye.